they surrender to the will of God. Happiness cannot be found in materialistic things. Happiness cannot be found in just, just in money or woman or man. Those things are temporal. True happiness must come from within. It must be within you. God, through the Holy Ghost, will satisfy every need, every craving, every desire, every hunger. There's a lot of people today that woke up and got everything that they could ever wish in the world. But something is still missing. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And when we surrender, we invite him in. Ebo Shata. Yeah, Lord. All I want to do this morning is to give myself away. So he can use me.
and he wants you to fight back with prayer and fasting in the word of God. Shady I stand. Oh my shot that I put. Be still and know that I'm God. You have a favor of God. Bless her heart.
whispering in her ear. Death one was whispering in her ear. Because she decided to stand by her man.
Must Jesus bear the cross alone? We all have a cross to carry. Carry that cross. Watch what God does. He opens doors that no man can shut. I wouldn't offer him nothing that cost me something. Stay true to him. He's going to stay true to you. And fight back when the enemy comes. Don't lay down and don't compromise. Jesus.
What you need to ask him for? Why? When we please him, he make even our enemies. That is the word for your death. And your shivers might be. Stop. 
start that showing off. Stop that bit. And then all it is, and oh, mama, mama trying to be strong. Now mama knows that girl. Cause mama's a woman too. Mama knows a woman. Can I get that man? Tell you to do When mama tell you to do something, you do it. Our mama's getting old. She ain't as old as you think she is. She's getting wiser. And, she, and I'm going to tell you something. And she's going to always be wiser than you. Mama's a survivor. You trying to learn how to survive. In the name of Jesus. You just be willing and you be obedient. God, I lift Jamal up before you. I lift Eric up before you. We put them in your hands this day. This day. We put them into your hands. God, you know what to do. You know what to do. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Strengthen her. Encourage her. Wipe her tears away. Bind up a broken heart. In Jesus' name. And I'm going to tell you something.
Sister Marcia needs a pastor. Who's got this road?
They don't need your hand back. You come and see me. We pray in here. No. All right. Thank you so much. In the book of Nehemiah, the fourth chapter. Let's go there, please. You that's able to stand, please stand. You that's able to stand. So good to see everybody out. I don't like to call names because I leave somebody out, but I, I thank God for every one of you uh, that took time to come. All right, in the book of Nehemiah, the fourth chapter, and I want to start reading at verse number 15. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and God had brought their counsel to naught, that he returned all of us to the wall, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants brought in the work, and the other half of them have both the spear, the shield, the bow, the back center, and the, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. And they which built on the wall, and they that burned burdens, with those that laden, every one with one of his hand brought in the world, and the other hand held a weapon. You may be seated. Verse number 17. I want to use a thought. Tell somebody, warning, warning. 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 And I want to use a subtopic, <laughs> sneak attack. Warning. Warning. Sneak attack. God spoke to me this morning and he says to me he said I want you to pray and to watch to keep your eyes open people of God we're in the time right now that the enemy has targeted the church I got a text out of Kenya this morning with one of the pastors over there he went into his church this morning to have service this morning. And as he was going in the door, they jumped him. They came into the church and tried to take over the church and brought him before the messengers. And they made him close down the service until they go to court. Because they don't want him preaching the truth. They don't want him to tell them about Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized in Jesus' name and be filled with the Holy Ghost. So they bombarded his church this morning, trying to get him uh, 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 in trouble with, with the law and trying to get him in trouble. And God spoke to me this morning. And I want to send a message out to you and you this morning. Now. And the message is warning, warning. Now. The enemy knows uh, that we are on Main Street. Uh, the enemy knows uh, that the presence of the living God is in here. Uh, the enemy knows. Uh, I received a phone call on yesterday while I was here praying. And I received a phone call. Uh, a young man called me. Uh, and he said, uh, Pastor Johnson. Uh, I don't give his name. Uh, he said, Pastor Johnson. Uh, I came to your church. He said, when I came to your church, I was on antidepressant medication. He said, I came to your church and I was on medication before my mind. He said, that whatever that message was that you preached, he said, from that time forth that I left your church, I have not used any type of medication. God delivered me from from my depression spirit. Uh, do y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh, and Satan is hearing these testimonies. Uh, Satan knows that the presence uh, of the Lord uh, is in this place. Uh, so the Lord told me this morning, uh, he said, I want you to watch uh, and I want you to pray uh, because the enemy uh, has to notice uh, of what God, not what I'm doing, uh, what God is doing uh, in the midst of us. Uh, in the book of Nehemiah, uh, God sent Nehemiah uh, to repair the wall, uh, but to pile uh, in somebody had hard people uh, in the inside uh, to lie on the mind, uh, uh, to run the mind's name down. Uh, and I declare to you today, uh, don't let the devil use you uh, to come up against uh, the work of God. Uh, don't let the devil use you uh, to lie on the prophet. Uh, don't let the devil use you 
uh, is building a wall. Uh, he got some building a wall. Uh, and then he got others uh, with spear in their hands. Uh, in other words, they watching uh, and they praying at the same time. Uh, I need some warriors in here. Uh, I need some people uh, who know how to intercede. Uh, I need the people uh, who will stand with me uh, against the powers uh, of principalities. Uh, I need people uh, who are sincere. Uh, I need people uh, who are dedicated to the ministry. Uh, not dedicated to me, uh, but dedicated to the ministry. Uh, I need people uh, who will zip their mouth. Uh, uh, I need people uh, who will hold who would fast with me. I need people who would pray for me. The enemy has targeted this church. The enemy has targeted me. He wants to sterilize my name. He wants to put my name down in the mud. All because I hold up the bloodstained banner. All because I hold up the name of Jesus. It is not about me. It is about Jesus and him crucified.
somebody that believe it. Somebody that believe it. And the, and the person you think won't believe it is the person that will. Shemaiah. Shemaiah was one of Nehemiah's friends. But he turned on him. They paid him to turn on Nehemiah. What's your price? What's your price to deliver some information on me? What's your price? I never liked him anyway. Come on, man. I never agreed to what he's preaching that way. What's your price? Come on, come on. I'm not looking for somebody outside the family to betray me. I'm looking for somebody in the family. It wasn't the enemy that approached me, David said, but my own equal. Family members are the daily thing in the church. Because they left their own side. Yeah. I ain't looking for the outside of Brother James. I'm looking for family members. One that's laughing, he, 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 ha, ha, ha. And the same way he said, you take me. And tell him. Nehemiah come into the temple. The Lord wants you to come into the temple. And Nehemiah said, now, stop me. Why should I run into the temple? Then he perceived that they paid him. What's your price? What's your price? Famous recipe ticket. Papa John. Well. Huh? What's your price? Hmm? Ted D. Grouse said everybody got a heart. Everybody got it. What's your price? What's your price to tell a lie? What's your price? Judas was 32 pieces of silver. 32 pieces of silver. He turned on Jesus. Turned on Jesus. Told him where he was going to be eating at. Told him where he was going to be resting at. And not only told him, but brought them to him. And they had no the kissing on the job. I'm telling you, don't no kiss me on my job. And hug me and betray me. Warning. I want you to know, not only am I taking notice, God is. Because he told me this one sneak attack. Sneak attack. He just ain't telling me which, which, which way it's coming yet. Listen to me. We're in the soul business. Yes, sir. We're in the soul business. Yes, sir. Satan wants you in bondage. I want you out of bondage. Satan wants you sick. I want you healed. Satan wants to lock you away. I want to free you. Yes, sir. I can't free you if you're working against me. I can't help you if you're talking about me. You understand that, don't you? You can't ask me to sweeten the pot and then you keep pulling out the water. Now, either you with me or you against me. You can't be both. You can't struggle with things. There's no perfect pastor. Let me make that clear to you. I'm only human. I'm just a human. I'm just a human. I can make mistakes. And ask me forgiveness. You understand that, don't you? So don't look to me. Look to Jesus. Keep your eyes on him and you'll never fail. What I'm saying to y'all, we building a kingdom here. Yeah. Jesus is building a ministry. Not my ministry, yeah. his ministry. Right. And he has elected you to be a part of that ministry. Right. Now, are you an inside man to give out information? Are you an inside woman to give out information? What is your conversation when you leave here? When the church comes up? When a member of the church comes up? What is your talk? Are you... I don't agree with them, but you listen to them. You just as guilty. Cut it out like that. You set the wrong people that's talking about the church. You don't have to say, but you're still guilty. Guilty by association. You're still guilty. Why would you run with somebody that thought he 